In this video, we will introduce buffered I.O. within the Java programming language. I.O. represents input and output streams. We use streams to read from or write to devices such as files or networks or consoles. Java I.O. package provides I.O. classes to manipulate streams. This package supports two types of streams, binary streams which handle binary data and character streams which handle character data. Input stream and output stream are high-level interfaces for manipulating binary streams. Reader and writer are high-level interfaces for manipulating character streams. Let's dissect our code so we can have a better understanding. Our app times reading and writing from one file to another. We are going to test between the basic way of reading and writing to a file and using buffered streams. We get the current start time in milliseconds. Here we have our default call to our streams. Then we have our end time. We record to the console how long it took. And then we have the same pattern repeated again. Here we use the read write. Here we use read write using a buffer. And finally, we'll use read write using an array. Let's look at our implementations. By default, most of the streams read or write one byte at a time. This causes poor I.O. performance because it takes a lot of time to read write byte by byte when dealing with large amounts of data. I.O. provides buffer streams to override this byte by byte default behaviors. You need to use buffer streams to buffer the data and then read write which gives good performance. You need to understand the method's default behavior and act upon that to improve performance. If you want to read from or write to a file, file input stream facilitates reading from a file and file output stream facilitates writing to a file. These classes have two types of methods, one to read and the other to write, one byte at a time, and the other method to read write array of bytes. Our method simply constructs two file input stream and file output stream to read from and to write to. Our while loop simply loops over it and takes the data and puts it in one file to another file. Now our read write buffer implementation. We have buffered streams to buffer data and to improve performance. They're buffered input stream and buffered output stream. The constructor takes other stream as a parameter. Here, it's file input stream or file output stream that have two methods. The default size for the buffer streams is 512 bytes. It accumulates the data till it reaches its capacity and reads from writes to destination. You can change the default size by passing a required buffer size through its constructor. So here we have our buffered input stream and we're going to actually chain it passing in our input stream. The same goes for our buffered output stream. And we will be doing the exact same here in the while loop where we'll just be passing the data from one file to another. So now let's compare which is faster, our read-write or our read-write buffer. Right-click on the source, run as Java application. And here we see time taken for reading and writing using default behavior 3,765 milliseconds. Using buffered streams, 3,079. And using custom buffering, 15 milliseconds. All we're doing here is constructing a, an array of bytes with the available length that we got from our input stream. We read that available length into our byte data. And then we wrote it. We can see that the buffered I.O. is slightly significantly faster than the default I.O. And the custom buffering is still 
even more faster. This concludes our discussion of buffered I.O. in Java.